The solid minerals industry has marked a significant milestone, generating a cumulative total of 1.137 trillion naira, which is approximately $3.86 billion, in direct payments to various levels of government. This was as the Nigeria Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, NAITI, presented the 2022-2023 Solid Minerals Industry Report, the 16th cycle of audits in Abuja. Here is a report filed in by one of our correspondents. The Executive Secretary of NAITI, Dr. Ojo Munayaoji, noted that government receipts from the solid mineral sector grew significantly from $7.59 billion in 2007 to $341.27 billion naira in 2022, representing a 44-fold increase. Revenue generated from the sector this is an increase for what we generated in 2021. The 90s reconciliation process revealed a substantial reduction in discrepancies between company revenues and company payments. The initial discrepancy was 301.6 billion that could be accounted for. We went further and narrowed this down because we challenged those who were dealing with the provide further evidence and narrowed it down to an outstanding 100 million, 100 million. The impact of the solid mineral sector to our GDP is still very minimal. It contributed only 1.66 trillion to Nigeria GDP, which is 0.8 percent of the total GDP of our country of 2.2. Meanwhile, the Minister of Solid Minerals, Dili Alake, represented by Executive Secretary Solid Minerals Development Fund, Haji Fatima Shikafi, noted that the ministry is intensifying efforts to address challenges within artisanal and small-scale mining, thereby working to formalize the activities so they contribute effectively to the economy while respecting environmental and social standards. The ministry is implementing institutional reforms to ensure efficiency, accountability and regulatory clarity within the sector. We have strengthened our monitoring and compliance mechanisms ensuring that industry players adhere to national standards, environmental regulations, and best practices. This report launched today is an outcome of that government's commitment. Transparency is not merely a goal, it is a tool that builds trust, attracts investment, and fosters accountability. We, also, we are also intensifying efforts to address challenges within artisanal and small-scale mining, working to formalize their activities so they contribute effectively to the economy while respecting environmental and social standards. Also, the Auditor General of the Federation, Shaka Kanyito Chira, says the report will be utilized to deepen the audit of the extractive sector. In the same vein, Chairman House Committee on Solid Minerals, Honorable Gaza Jonathan, said a framework that will probe illegal miners should be adopted. That the resources both has endowed Nigeria with in the extractive sector alone, if properly addressed, can be the impetus for launching the country into one of the most developed countries in terms of both the gross domestic product and per capita income. And therefore, convinced that with the way nature is going, giving the enabling environment and appropriate support, getting to that point. They not take a long time to have. This calls to action. This is the call to action as far as I'm concerned. In, when we were reviewing the two, when we were reviewing or in the process of reviewing the 2007 Minerals and Mines Act, one of our greatest partners, whom we required input from and will continue to require input from, is the NAIT, so that we can make the reporting and transparency a integral aspect of the laws of this of this country because if we do that i can assure you that at the end of the day it will all be better off for you in terms of exports the report revealed that Nigerian companies exported a total of 4.31 million metric tons of minerals valued at 117.29 billion naira